don't remember watching All in the Family. America's favorite bigot, Archie Bunker. I've seen one episode where he claims to be a Christian, a Republican, a true blue Republican, or should I say a red Republican, but the Republican, and he claims to be a self-acclaimed Christian, but he was bigot. He really hated black people. He hated the Jews. He hated a lot of people. He would even call them by the names that they, they shouldn't uh, ethnic slang language. You know, um, not, not really. It's like you fill in the blank. Anyways, the point is he claimed to be a Christian. And the Krishna really who oh, loved God. But he can't even love his neighbor. He can't even love his neighbor. So how can he love God? That don't make sense. If he loved God says if you love him, you'll love your neighbor. He that does not love his neighbor does not love God. Yeah. Yehudala, whatever his name is, Yehuah, Yehuah, Yah, Yehuah, Yahweh, you know. But the point I'm trying to make is, he claimed to be a Christian, but he couldn't love his fellow man. He could sure hate them though, especially if they were black or a Jewish or or what they, like whatever like you see you fill in the blank. He could sure hate them though, but he couldn't love them. Oh no, he couldn't do harsh monger the Christian. Can't love his own neighbor, but can really, really hate his neighbor, can he? Oh yeah, you can see that. And I remember him saying to his son a lot, he used to love referring to him as the meathead. What well, do you know meathead? You don't know nothing. And I know that that Mike Stavik used to say that to Archie. He used to say, well, I know you, you should love your... Uh, Fellow man, now she says, Whoever told you got that kind of garbage? That kind of, uh, you know what? Archimonger, no, you're supposed to hate people, then you're supposed to hate them. Archimonger, he used to hate black people, hate Jews, he hated anyone different, but then he claims to love God. Well, how can you love God when you can't even love your own fellow man? Let's see. What I'm trying to say is, uh, I'm trying to tell about like racism, racism, and you don't think it's re being racist is wrong, it is. It's wrong to be a racist. They hate people that are different than you. Like, uh, yeah, for proof of that, you could write this down. And look it up on YouTube, there's a video where this black woman, this black woman, she gets kicked out of a Lutheran church in the U.S. Just for being black. A black woman 
who was kicked out of the Lutheran church just for being black. All the other prisoners were white, and she was this, but they this. Now write this down, and you can look it up on YouTube yourself. The title of the video is Racist Church Goers Harass Black Woman. And see, these Christians claim to be all loving, but you know something? It shows in their actions. They're not loving. They're all full of hate. All full of hate. They're pride. Oh, they're so loving. They're so loving my... They're so loving my hide. Loving. If they were loving, they wouldn't kick out the black woman just because she's black. They would accept her, recognize that she's a human, just as human as they are. To me, there's only one race, and that's the human race. There's only one race, the human race. And there's even Christian preachers and pastors trending by saying, oh, discriminating pace. Trying to defend discrimination and prejudice by saying, oh, you're supposed to have discriminating taste. I ain't gonna read between the lines. I'm not stupid, you know. A lot of these, these pastors may think I am stupid, but I'm not. Hey, look, I'm not stupid. And now they think these Christian pastors, their Christian pastors that try to protect and defend what they think is their God given right to what hidden and not the human being. Come. You know, there is a Christian pastor of all those tried to defend hatred. You know, there's a lot of unloving and hate in this world and unfairness, and you know something? Enough is enough. I mean, we got to do something about it. We can't let this go on. We cannot allow this to go on anymore. It's corrupt, it's immoral, it's vile, it's filthy. It just cannot be allowed to go on anymore. We have to weed out this hatred and this unfairness. It's just enough is enough. We've had enough corruption in this world. Now we have to get rid of it. And this is why I say boycott religion. Boycott religion, no good. Just, like, look at those uh, indigenous Catholic schools that were run by the government and the Catholic Church indigenous schools. And now they murdered indigenous children in, in uh, I don't know where but somewhere in Canada, in the Polish Catholic Church, they, they, they tore out some indigenous people and insulted them. When, they, when the indigenous confronted the Catholic priests about how Indigenous children were murdered by the Catholic Church in the past. 
in the Catholic Church, then the apologized. They just defended themselves and what they thought was their God given right to commit hate and murder. Indigenous children. Well, I'll tell you one thing. There is like a reckoning. If you don't think that there's repercussions and that they are reckoning, there's going to be such an outcry for justice for those indigenous children that the Catholic churches murdered indigenous children and you don't think there was any, any repercussions well you'll see